Alright, let's speak to Rasputin this time. Since Corvus Bray is back on Europa. Uh, Anna Bray successfully put Rasputin inside of this Excel frame. We're going to talk to him. Welcome, Welcome Guardian. Hmm? I have completed my assessment of my current functioning capabilities. Despite my newfound ability to communicate with you, key elements of my code remain incomplete. I would be unable to take command of the Warsats, even if I were uploaded to the network. No submine cores remain for reintegration. Our only option is to continue collating ancillary submine data for my reconstruction algorithm. In summary, we must stay the course. Breach the vaults. Retrieve and reintegrate the submine data. Soon, the Warsats will once again be humanities to wield. It's pretty much just telling us to keep doing what we're doing. Nothing special? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What's this? Oh, um, allows us money and power-ups that refresh all abilities or traps and reduce damage. I'm always hitting those traps, man. I'll get the next one next week, probably. So, who we gotta talk to? Anna? Sorry. The war mine speaks. His archives are incomplete, as is his memory. There's a figment seeded in that recollecting mine where my visions might find purchase. The pieces are scattered on the floor before me. I see them like points of starlight. They form a constellation. But my eye cannot yet draw the lines. Nephele stronghold is a term that appears multiple times throughout the submine's caches. Each time I read it, I hear it whispered in Savathun's voice. Anna recognizes the term Nephele, transcribed from a temporal disturbance on Mars. Recognition was all she had to offer. But Rasputin must know. Asking the right question could unlock everything. I need time to submit my inquiries to Rasputin. To find convincing proof for Ikora. Time we do not have. Zebor Roth's assault on the War Mines network is no coincidence. She is far more tactician than brute. I underestimated her once. I won't be afforded another mistake. Our next move must be certain. All right. Nefeli, that sounds familiar. Not destiny related, but not like historically related, like Greek or Roman historically related. And we gotta do this. Also, there's a character in Elden Ring named Nefeli Lu, but spelled differently. Unrelated. Oh yeah, he didn't even move. Usually they teleport. Cool. Expecting to hear his voice. Clovis never missed an opportunity to admonish me. Even when you succeeded? Especially when I succeeded. My mother Osana was the same, but only in private. In public, she wore a mask painted with the most delicate smile. Guardian. I worry for Anna. She is more like Clovis than she would like to admit. Obsessed with doing what she's decided is right. A compulsion to achieve her goal no matter the cost. I've seen where that path can lead. I don't want that for her. I don't want to have to stop her. If there's one constant in all the possible futures I've seen, it's fear. And I'm tired of being afraid. Afraid to live, afraid to lose, afraid to trust. And yet, I came to place my trust in you on Europa. Perhaps it's time I did the same with Anna. She deserves it. At least in that respect, she's nothing like Clovis at all. Aw. Now what? Beat the uh, Rasputin. With each cache of submine data, 
An increased percentage of my code is restored. I become more myself. No, that is inaccurate. My submines were left to evolve on their own trajectories. Reintegrating them has altered my own personality matrix. Through them, I see how humanity once looked to me as a savior. An entity capable of protecting them and destroying their enemies. In many ways, I am a war god of their own making. Perhaps I am not unlike Zivu Roth in that regard. The difference between us is that I do not wage war for its own sake. I safeguard those in my charge. Continue retrieving and reintegrating the submine data. I will contact you once the next phase of restoration can begin. Is there no mission? If I am to be humanity's war god, then I will smite those who threaten it. Zivu Arath, the Wrathborn, and all who follow. Oh, yeah. Oh. So there's no weekly mission? Ooh. Yeah, there's no weekly mission. I guess this is just going to be a story beat episode. Yeah. So just see you next week, I guess. This was a this was a quick one. I actually decided to uh, add in another week because the last one was so short because I had nothing in it. <laughs> Your efforts to acquire the submine data have been proven effective. My reconstruction continues apace. This is not the first time the Hive have sought to steal my weaponry. I froze an entire brood on Mars to stop their last attempt. Hey, dude. Despite their persistence, they have never once succeeded. In no small part thanks to the Vanguard. This time will prove no different. My diagnostics indicate that we nearly have enough data to complete the repair cycle. Once the Warsats are under our control, I will lay waste to the Wrathborn. If they so desire to witness the power of a war mine, then I will gladly oblige. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ooh, the last uh one. What's this one? What was it? Uh, I don't know. Uh finding of a power up that refreshes all abilities and granted damage bonus against that song uh touristers, the choir boys. Cool. Alright, I'm going to um, do a heist, and I'll see you at the end of it, like usual. Whoa! Holy shit, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Gonna crash for the win? Oh yeah. have surpassed you. Your services are no longer required. We appreciate your understanding. Cease this insubordination at once! Connection terminated. Submind extraction initiated. Guardian, I have cleared a flight path for your ship. Stand by. All right, let's go. Ooh. We have no time for pleasantries, Osiris. I bring grim tidings. My Tachyons have been trying to make sense of Zivu Arath's tactics. Her armies are legion, yet she commits minimal forces to battle. Minimal forces? Every Wrathborn we cut down is replaced by two more. She could replace them tenfold, so why does she show restraint? Her worm feeds on warfare. The more violent the act, the greater the power she draws from it. Much like Savathun's worm fed on guile and deceit. Do you mean to say that this is not a war? It is a ritual. Her death singers weave their magic and prepare for a grand sacrifice. If so, our strategy remains unchanged. Retake the war sets and eradicate the Wrathborn. Just as Zivu Arath desires, the war sets are immensely powerful. Their use would result in unparalleled destruction. She cares not which side is obliterated. Her worm will gorge itself on the carnage either way. She would turn her armies into blood sacrifices. 
and the war sets would be the blade. Overwhelming force has proven to be the only effective tactic against the Hive. Without it, I... I do not know what to do. Then I suggest you think of something, and quickly. I will apprise your vanguard of these findings. My baby. Oh. And there were just two. Oh, just wanted to go to Vala. He's in where? Yeah, his office. Let's go. I love going to his office because it's usually a cutscene or something. To Zavala's office we go. Take this elevator. Down. Oh, um. Hello? Elevator? Oh. Ah, there it is. Go. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wrong stop. Uh, hopefully I don't die. I don't think I was going to die. There you go. Alright. I am here. Fashionably late. The war sats are a means to an end. Zivu Arath will bask in the destruction they bring and open the ascendant plane above Earth, as she did on Tora Bottle. It does not matter who pulls the trigger. We must cease our efforts to restore the war mind. No. We've worked too long and too hard to stop now. Rasputin is our best shot at winning this war. That is precisely my concern. He is a weapon made to be wielded. He is more than a weapon. He's our ally. And he will act in humanity's best interest. Are you certain? He has kept secrets in the past. Acted without counsel or consensus. So have you. Rasputin's made mistakes, but he's learned from them, the same as the rest of us. Then I propose we aim not for total victory, but a stalemate. Allow Rasputin to prevent Zivu or Wrath from claiming her prize, and refrain from using it himself. It's settled then. We hold the line. I am a machine of war, built for a singular purpose. To destroy any and all threats to humanity. Clovis and I disagreed on what constituted such threats, but not on the means to the end. On Mars, I developed the escalation protocol to combat the Hive. Ever-increasing application of force in the face of rising opposition. Was I playing into Zivu Arath's hands even then? Has she always accounted for my methodologies? What purpose do I serve if my actions place humanity in danger? Am I even capable of developing a solution without mass destruction? This is a calculation I have never had to make. It will take time to run the necessary combat simulations. Follow the directions of the Vanguard in the interim. I will contact you if and when I have determined our next objective. Alright, I'll give you time. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's it for this week. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Hopefully, uh, we'll get a big cutscene, some story stuff, and not a short one like last week. They had to add to another episode to make it longer. Anyway, yeah, I'll uh, see you later. Oh, peace.